A co-op of my beautiful people, welcome back to my channel, it's Melinda Nishi. I hope you guys are doing well. Today I have a really exciting package that I want to share with you guys. I'm going to cut straight to the chase. Um, I bought Nima Tang's collaboration with Dose of Colours. And when I say I've been looking for a really dark, true brown nude lip colour that I can wear in the winter if I want to be a bit more grungy, but also like on date nights, like... It's not every day like a pale nude. Sometimes, some people's nude is a dark brown nude, you know? And when you open it, it looks like this. And if you guys have watched Nima Tang's video talking about why she made this nude set, um, she kind of described how in a lot of dark brown nude colors, you run quite red. Um, and that's not flattering on everyone's skin tone because not everyone is red toned. So I'm hoping this will be like the ultimate nude. But I thought if I'm gonna be reviewing this nude then I might as well show you guys all of the other nudes that I really enjoy wearing kind of when I'm out and about. I'm very much a nude girl. I'm either nude or red, like there's no in between. So if you're somewhat around my complexion then you can give these shades a try. But before we get into the video, I am super excited to let you guys know that I am now a Ana Luisa brand ambassador. So I've been stacking different Ana Luisa necklaces for a couple of months now. So you guys already know, okay, that I'm only going to recommend things to you that are going to last for a long time, are worth your coin, look cute, and where possible are also sustainable. This time I decided to go for three different pieces just to switch it out a little bit. So the earrings that I'm wearing at the moment are the mini sphere earrings. I picked these out because I felt like it was a really kind of classic earring to have. Super chic, super clean, and I feel like just makes an effortless finish to any look. And they're really easy to attach, they just snap together like that. And this will keep for the whole day because we're not out here trying to lose earrings or anything. <laughs> the next item that I got is this thin gold rope twist kind of ring. Again, this ring has a really timeless look to it and I can see myself not only wearing it, but probably passing it down to my kids. So definitely a staple to have in your jewelry collection. And the last piece is this Michael Bold chain bracelet. I love the kind of masculine look that it has and yet it's in such a small size so you know it's got that little feminine flair to it. Um, yeah, and I just feel really cool. I feel like a gangster wearing this, what can I say? <laughs> yeah, I'm freaking loving all the pieces from Anna Luisa. I know a lot of you guys follow me on Instagram, so you know that I've been wearing these pieces. You know that this is probably the most authentic um, collaboration that I could have taken on board. I genuinely love all the pieces from Anna Luisa. I love the fact that they don't tarnish. I love what the company stands for, and they have some really nice bits, guys. So definitely go and check out on their website. There's something for everyone, so just have a and if you use my code MedelinM10, you can get 10% off your order. So, thank you so much, Anna Luisa, for sponsoring this video. Yeah. Let's get straight into it. <laughs> so first of all, let's talk about the lip liner that I always use. This one is Morphe's Trendsetter. I used to use Max Chestnut, um, but after I lost about three of them, it was too painful to convince myself that I deserved another one. It's like 16 pounds for a lip liner. So <laughs> I bought this one instead. I can't remember the price of this, but it's a, it's a lot cheaper. Surely not. So this lip liner is four pounds 50. Yeah, I'm gonna be using this lip liner forevermore. That's all I can say. <laughs> Everything will be linked down below. So if you guys wanna try out any of my recommendations, please use the links help assist to pay bills. Anyway, the current combo that I'm wearing was actually a free gift where I think I bought something from, I wanna say Colt Beauty. And because I spent over a certain amount, you could choose like a free Illamasqua lipstick. I'm using the Illamasqua anti matter Lipstick in Libra. This shade is kind of, I don't even know how to describe it. As you guys can see, it's a nude, but it's got a bit of an orange tint to it. It's almost got like a corally tone to it, is the only way I can describe it. Um, but it, I think it will complement so many dark complexions and the color payoff is really good. Let me just even pop some in the middle of my lip stem. 
so you guys can see. Such a pretty color. I can't believe I got it for free. <laughs> you guys should definitely check it out. Right, so the next one is by Lush. So this one is called Minsk, I think. Minsk, yeah. What I love about this is that it's cruelty free, it's vegan, um, and they use really, really gorgeous ingredients in all of their makeup. Um, I'm a super massive fan of Lush. Again, you guys may know if you've been following me for a while, I always fall back on this color. I just think it's a really kind of complimentary, redder type of tone. I would describe this color more of a, like a brick red nude. And this is the thing, I feel like there are a lot of videos on nude lipsticks, um, but there's not a lot showing the diverse range of like what a nude could be, particularly for a black woman. Our lip colors come in different shades and different colors, and it's something that we should embrace. Um, and so I kind of just want to show you guys different nudes that are available in case you're going for a different nude lip. So yeah, I would highly recommend this color as well, especially if you're looking for cruelty free makeup. The next two colors I'm going to show you guys are from NYX. So super accessible wherever you live in the world. These are just my favorites from the Butter Gloss and Soft Matte Lip Cream lines. Um, so the gloss that I like is Praline or Praline, however you want to say it. And the matte color is London. Absolutely love these ones. I've been using these colors for years and they just do what they need to do at an affordable price, which we're here for. I think these retail for about seven pounds each, so definitely worth your coin. Of course, you guys already knew that I had to include Fenty into the mix because really and truly, they do make some of the best nudes with dark skin girls in mind. I'm a basic bee, so I like Fenty Glow in both the Gloss Bomb and in the Gloss Bomb Cream. I think formulas for both are gorgeous. I think it gives you a beautiful, subtle color. I feel like all girls have one of these in their bags at all times because it's Rihanna, okay? Oftentimes, whether or not I want to go for a really glossy look, so then I just add a super cheap clear gloss on top. This one is by Essence. It's literally two pounds and it's the best thing ever. If you're in Europe and you haven't hopped onto this, you need to hop on ASAP. Now, this gloss is actually newer into my nude collection. It's by Dollhouse and it's called Sponsored. This is quite a bright type of nude, um, so it's not for the faint hearted. But what I usually do to tie the whole look together is use clear gloss all the time with this one. I probably wouldn't wear this one without clear gloss. This is like a wedding nude, like, do you get me? This is like elevated, rich auntie vibe kind of nude. Um, it's just hot, I like it a lot and you should try it as well. <laughs> the one thing that I will say is I really am not a fan of packaging at all. I just think it, it gets quite messy. Um, so just be aware when you get this um, to screw it tight when you're done. So first up we got the chocolate chip lip liner. This is a really dark, dark brown, borderline black, like let's be real. But I don't know about you guys, sometimes when I'm using a brown lip liner that's running a little bit too red or I just want a bit of a deeper lip liner, I'll go in with a black pencil. So, so by having this lip liner, I don't have to feel weird about using black eyeliners around my lips because I actually have a product for my lips that will do well, the black line needs to, do you get me? Anyway, so yeah, I love this. And now what I'm popping on top is Penny. And I actually found um, that the way I pencil in my lip, the chocolate chip lip liner was a little bit too cool toned for my lips. So I ended up going in with Morphe's Trend Center just to add a tiny bit of redness in, because um, that's just the way I like my lip liners. But I definitely am loving both of these colors. Um, and it's definitely something that I'm going to use in rotation with the rest of my nude lip collection. It's such a gorgeous muted type of nude. 
You've got pink in there, the tiniest bit of coral in there, um, and it's a really nice colour. I definitely don't have something like this colour in my collection, so I'm really glad to have that. And here you guys can see me putting on top the E Gen Stay Glossy Lip Gloss. What a vibe. Let's just discuss. This, I never knew I needed a brown gloss like this until I put it on my lips. And now I don't know what I've done my whole life without it. Such a gorgeous color. All of the um, lip products smell like, it's meant to smell like chai, but it reminded me of like a medicinal sweet that you would have. I don't know, I'm indifferent to the smell. I don't, I don't dislike it, but I don't like it, but I like the colors enough to like, oversee it, if that makes sense. Love, love, love this gloss. And finally, probably the color that I bought this entire collection for um, is Like To See It. I think this name is so fitting. I've been looking for a color like this for probably two years, like I'm not even joking. I've been trying to find a similar color to this. There's been a couple brands here and there that had colors similar to this, but have discontinued it or the formulas weren't very good. So when I saw this, I was like, take my money, take my money. When Nima said the girls need a dark chocolatey nude Nima gave us a dark chocolate nude oh my god in love in love this is a vibe for the winter this is a vibe for the summer if you just want to really look like even with the if you went for like a white outfit and then with a dark lip it's just like a boss <laughs> energy all right guys thank you so much for watching definitely hit that like button if you enjoyed this video if you enjoy my content in general just subscribe okay <laughs> and thank you so much for Anna Louisa for sponsoring this video definitely go check out the link in my bio and don't forget to use my discount code melanin 10 for 10% off your order I will see you in the next video guys bye